don't get me started, man. There's a long list to unpack. It's obviously a tragedy, of course. Like a lot of things happened over the past. I can't think of how long it is, but it's been a it's been a few months, more than that. Uh, obviously, people dying, the Russians invading and stuff, taking their lands. It's it's horrific. I can't lie. In fact, I know, um, I know a friend who's unfortunately a refugee and he's been in this country since the war has started. And um, obviously it's been tough for him and all, but fair play to the lad. He's, he's been trying to be happy and all that stuff. And even after his uh, unfortunate offense with his family and stuff, you know, in Ukraine, he, um, he's, he's actually managed to keep a smile on himself. Like, ever, all the time I see him, he's always happy. Like, I don't know how he does it, knowing what's happened in his background and what's happened to his family and stuff, but fair play to him, he's probably one of the strongest people you'll ever meet. Well, I'm, uh, I'm slightly concerned for my um, well-being and stuff and other people in this country, because like, the, the threats from Putin and stuff, he's thinking of nuclear warfare, which is obviously <laughs> doesn't end well, knowing past events of, you know, wars and stuff, and it could affect this country as well, because like, like if, if we get involved and stuff, you know, obviously NATO and, and all that. Uh, it will affect us, and it'll be like a, war, like a war between us and all the all the countries. And obviously, it won't end well. There will be bloodshed and torture and all that stuff. But I'm hoping it doesn't go that far. I'm hoping Ukraine and Ukraine does scare uh, Russia back into their hidey hole, so they'll come back out, and hopefully it will turn out. All right.